The Council of Europe, that's the uh, body of 46 states, I think, um, of which we are um, still a member. It's not the European Union. We mustn't confuse the two. And it's the Council of Europe that hosts the European Court of Human Rights, uh, has now recognised uh, that Russia's forced transfer of Ukrainian children amounts to genocide. Um, the Council of Europe said this on Thursday uh, in a resolution adopted by its parliamentary assembly. Uh, calling for the safe return of these children, the parliament said the documented evidence of this practice matches with the international definition of genocide. And the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, has hailed this as an important decision that will help hold Russia and its leaders to account. And the, um, the, the forced uh, seizure of, um, of these children by Russia, um, for whatever excuses, uh, is an element of Russia's attempt, quote, to erase the identity of our people, to destroy the very essence of the Ukrainian people. That's what Vladimir Zelensky said. Now, um, all the all the Council of Europe is really doing is recognising the International Criminal Court's decision to uh, put out an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin uh, for on the same charges uh, for the um, genocide of um, the Ukrainian children, um, the um, uh, the seizure of these children, and it's very good that there's a uh, that there's a consensus growing. I think uh, at the same time. The strikes, the, uh, the missile strikes on Ukraine, on Kyiv, are uh, disturbing. I think equally, um, though again mainstream media seems very coy about it, the growing um, evidence of uh, the involvement of the Wagner troops in, this, uh, in the Sudan problem uh, is perhaps an attempt by Russia to distract from the Ukrainian um, and Russian war. And uh, for what reason? Goodness knows at the moment. Goodness knows. But um, uh, is Russia in a commanding position in Ukraine? I don't think so. But at the same time, we are learning that Ukrainian soldiers are worrying about um, ammunitions and, uh, and, and having the missiles and the bullets to keep up the defence.